I'm working currently on a video for the third channel, which is taking a hell of a lot more time than I thought it would. But I'm working on a script for the third channel, which is diving a little bit into Steve Denuser. So I've been given quite a lot of resources by some of the mods as well as some of the viewers of the channel around Steve Denuser's past. Now, do you guys know what Steve Denuser is sort of quote unquote famous for? He worked on EverQuest, but that's not what he's famous for. Uh, when I say famous, it, I'm using the word extremely loosely. Um, yeah, he, he's he's famous for transmedia. Now, does anyone here not know what transmedia is? Because if everyone knows, I can just skip over it. Or does anyone need me to explain what transmedia is? All right. Um, is there is some that don't know what it is. So, transmedia is when you basically break up your story into multiple sort of media sources. So let's say, for example, you wanted to tell the Lord of the Rings. You would go and you would say, so multimedia, right, which is another term. Multimedia would be where you write the Lord of the Rings books, three of them. Then you also release them as a movie. Yeah. And then maybe you decide to also re release the books as an audio book. That's multimedia. It's the same story told through different mediums, but it's the same story. You don't really, you know, you lose something watching the movie and not reading the books, but you still get the story, the broad strokes at least, they're still there, right? Transmedia would be, you take The Lord of the Rings and the first book is a book. The second book isn't a book, it becomes a movie. The third book, half of it becomes an audio book and the other half becomes a series. So in transmedia, what you're basically doing is you're saying you have to consume multiple versions of media in order to get the full picture. So the picture is sort of broken up. Steve Denuser is famous for this. He actually gave a talk at a gaming convention about this, this specific thing, how to tell a story through transmedia. Um, it's perfect for CEOs and suits because it means more money it's never worked actually in practice it's it's not worked right um I think the closest you can come Alex actually has a good point there the Marvel Universe would probably be um the best that's ever been done right but it's been done well mainly because if you just read the comic books of the MCU, you'd basically get... Let's say you'd know most of the lore of the MCU, right? Or if you just watched the movies, you'd know a fair deal, right? You wouldn't be lost. Let's let's put it that way. You would most likely not be lost uh, in the MCU universe if you watch... They, they do a pretty good job of making sure that it all fits. The problem with... Um, the problem that you have with games specifically trying to do this transmedia approach is if you fuck up even a little bit, you end up with a fractured story that can't be told by anyone, right? Like no one can follow the, this fucking story. The, the problem with World of Warcraft is, so the way you would want to do transmedia sort of perfectly, if you were going to apply it perfectly, is you would tell the lore where it makes the most sense for the lore to be told. So, most of you, uh, a good example of where transmedia in World of Warcraft was used perfectly was the Chronicles. The Chronicles was absolutely perfect because how do you tell the story of the Chronicles in the game? It's, it's, it's fucking impossible. There's no way you can tell that story in the game because a lot of that story is sort of boring world building old school kind of stuff right like how the fuck do you tell that in the game like maybe you could use chromie for some of it but even then it's sort of like time before time level stuff it's not really something that you could do uh in the game so writing a book about the stuff in the chronicles is absolutely perfect the problem is almost with all of their other books because all of their other books tell stories that could have been told in the game 
and probably better in the game than what it was told in the box. You see, because for, for most of the story in World of Warcraft, to justify box, the story has to be removed from the game. Because it's not like you couldn't tell the story of Shadows Rising in the game. You could absolutely tell the story of Shadows Rising in the game. It's not like you couldn't tell the story of Before the Storm in the game. You could absolutely do that. And probably even better than what you could do it in the book. So for World of Warcraft, in order to keep this transmedia money machine going, because let's be real, Blizzard's money printer goes brrr every single time they release a book. In order to keep it going, they have to remove story from the game to put it somewhere else. Even if that somewhere else doesn't always make sense. That to me is sort of case in point, the biggest failure of World of Warcraft right now. It's why World of Warcraft as a story no longer work. Because players are starting to see through this facade, right? Players are starting to realize, hold on, but I'm paying $15 a month and then I have to buy the books and then I have to watch the cinematics and then I have to do this and then that and then that and then that. When am I getting to the fucking story? Like, when is the story just going to be there? And as soon as players start seeing through it, that's when it fails. And Steve Denuser have, have tried this twice um, at other companies. And this, in both instances, it hasn't worked. And World of Warcraft is the next in his line of failures, where his transmedia dream, the dream that he has of being the king of gaming, movies, and books, is going to fail again in World of Warcraft because somehow Steve Denuser still haven't figured out that if you want to do it, um, the Grimoire, for example, would have been another brilliant place to tell the stories that can't be told inside the game. However, some of the stories that I'm seeing inside the, sh the Grimoire could have absolutely been told inside the game, you know? Like, another good example, I think, of folk and fairy tales. Uh, also, good example of transmedia use. Because, yeah, you could tell the folk and fairy tales inside the game, but there'd be limits to how well you can tell those stories, right? So, again, good use of transmedia. I imagine something like the uh, the Eastern Kingdoms book that's coming, or is it the Kalimdor one? Which, which one is coming next? Um, I imagine that could be one that's also going to be well told because it's probably also going to be at least on point enough, right, to what a book can tell and a game can't really tell. But yeah, I would say World of Warcraft's biggest failure right now is this insistence to tell the story through millions of different sources of media, yet here's actually the best way to describe why it's failing. If all you ever did was play World of Warcraft the game, would you know the entire story of World of Warcraft? The answer is no. If all you ever did was read the books, would you know the entire story of World of Warcraft? The answer again is no. If all you ever did was watch the cinematics of World of Warcraft, would you know the story of World of Warcraft? And the answer again is a very resounding no. So in other words, you're not getting any worth, your any value for your money because the story itself is told in such a way that you need to consume all three in order to actually get the story. And that to me is just fucking scumbag. That is just absolutely scumbag levels of greed. It's, it's greed. That's all it is. It's... And it's, it's the worst kind of greed because it's the kind of greed that comes at the expense of yourself. I have no problem with greed. If someone wants to be greedy, let them be greedy. But the problem that I have with greed is when you're greedy to at your own demise, right? You're, you're greedy to the point that it brings about your own demise. And that's the problem here. Is Blizzard doesn't seem to realize that their greed is what's costing them players.